Hey viewers, welcome back to our channel Technology. So I am fine, I hope you guys will also doing well. As you all know that Linux is more secure than Windows 10. What if someone want to switch from Windows 10 to Linux? Then this video is for them. Today in this video tutorial, I am going to show you guys the voice which is almost look like Windows 10. But it is a Linux based operating system. The voice name is Linux FX which will be giving you a feel like Windows 10. Also this Linux based on Ubuntu operating system. So without much delay, let's get into it. So at first you need to go to your browser and after that you have to go to this website which is called rufus.ie and after that scroll down and you will get a two version over there which is Rufus Installer 3.11 and Rufus 3.11 Portable. Portable means you can directly use this software and Rufus installer which is you have to install on your computer. So I will download the portable version which I have already downloaded so you have to click on this portable link and after that it will automatically get downloaded on your computer. After that you have to download this Linux FX ISO file from this link so I will give you the link to my video description so you can directly go to this link from my video description. So just click on download after go to this website and it will download will start within 5 second. As you can see it started so I will click on cancel because I have already downloaded and I have copy in my desktop folder. So here, here is the two files as you can see so you have to open Rufus first. So click on yes, now click on no and what you have to do you need to click on select and you have to go to your location where you have saved your uh, Linux ISO file. So select that file and you can change the volume level from here like your pen drive name and after that click on start and click on yes. So before click on yes make sure that you have backup all your data all your important data from your USB to any other hard drive okay. So after that click on yes and now click make sure that this option is selected which is right in ISO image mode and after that click on okay then click on ok now it will start within second so it started as you can see so it will take some time so you have to wait for a few minutes so now you have to insert your pen drive or usb drive to your old laptop or pc so in my case i will insert on my laptop so now you have to go to your bios setup for that you need to press f10 or f12 key from your keyboard and let me zoom it and focus so as you can see here is a BIOS setup so I have to press down arrow key from my keyboard and go to the BIOS setup and after that press enter from your keyboard so you have to done the same thing now you have to go to your boot sequence and you have to make sure that this option is enabled which is UEFI and also after that you have to go to your secure boot and make sure that your secure boot is disabled okay so as you can see in my case it is disabled so after that you have to press F10 key to save uh, that bio settings and after that you have to restart your computer after you have inserted your pen drive you have to boot with your USB drive. And here you will get our three languages. So select English and click on next. And now here you will get our welcome screen. So you have to click on next. Then you can select the location. So I will use the by default option. So I will go to the next option. And you can set your keyboard from here. So I will go with the default keyboard. And here you will get an option like install alongside uh, replace a partition, manual partition. So I will go with install alongside. That will not delete my main ways. Okay. So if you want to freshly install then you have to select replace a partition and after that you have to select that 
uh, partition and you have to click on next. So I will go with the install alongside. And after that click on next. Here into put your username and password. I will put over the technology and the, on the password section I will put over the year 123. And now I have to click on next. And after that click on install. And click on install now. And as you can see installation process is started so you have to wait for few minutes. So now you have to click on done to restart your computer. So now here you need to unplug your pen drive and after that press enter from your keyboard. So I hope this small video will really help for you and please don't forget to click on the subscribe button, like button and share button. And if you have any queries or questions then comments down below. I will see you guys on the next one next video. Take care.